Hey guys, just as I promised, I'm actually going to post a video on my coil pack install of my LS2 coil pack. Uh, let me open the hood. Uh. Now keep in mind, the, it's not connected yet, but it is installed. I just got it. I just got it installed. It's just how it looks. Yeah, and this is the first the first coil pack I did. I actually got a bracket here, just so that way this this is the only one that actually was having giving me issues with clearance issues. But as you can see, it kept it keeps it away from the breather. But as you can see, the rest of the coils. I'm not sure if you can see it. Nah, I don't think you can see it. Uh, but the others will actually line up with the spark plugs. As you can see, I still got my, I still got my original spark plug wires hooked up. Uh, Alright, let's look at the other side. Not too shabby, though. Over here, you can actually see it better. See, I got a bolt right there. I just had to drill a hole here, so that will fit on the valve cover bolt. And... Let me move this heater hose out of the way. Get a better view. There you go. Not too bad. At least this side, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have to do that much um, modifications. I just bolted right up and it cleared the PCB valve, as you can see right there. And I'm going to show you the spacings I did, if you can see it. Uh, get this out of the way. Um, where are you? There you go. That's pretty much what I've done. So that way, you know, I have the clearance I need. And of course, there's a shot of my separate team belt system. <laughs> but, so far it looks, looks decent. Looks like it, looks like it came with the car. Still got my original carburetor still there. I might be selling that soon if, maybe, I might, I might save it, I don't know. But I'll, I'll, let, I'll, 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 keep, I'll keep you guys posted what I'm going to do with the carbon intake and, of course, the distributor. Because I'm, sure if if, I'm not sure if I should keep it. Oh, by the way, there's my peak and hold box. I'm actually going to put a, a wrapper around it so that way, you know, in case water gets in there, it won't short or anything. But as of right now, it's been doing all right. Just so that way I know, and that's where the connector is going to come out. The white one is actually going to be for the injectors, and the gray one is going to go to my ECM. So that's how the crew is going to control my injectors. I'm just, I might as well do a quick roll around. Of course, also my MSD box, where the MSD box is going to go. That's where I'm going to put my relay box and my um, and my ECM. Of course, I'm going to put a cover around it so that way no water will get in there. And I'm going to probably wire all of the... I'm probably going to put my wires right around here with a, with a crimper, you know, with a, you know, with a wire holder. And make it look nice and neat. I will post... Once I get it, once I get everything installed, I'm probably going to be doing this on my vacation time, but I'm not sure when that's going to be because, you know, this is my daily driver. So, I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, just post a comment. Just post a comment, and I'll reply as soon as I can. Thank you.